Welcome to the MindView 6 project management tutorial. This tutorial assumes that you have a basic working knowledge of MindView 6. In this tutorial, you will learn how to turn your brainstorming session into a project plan, how to create the work breakdown structure, apply task information, and even create the schedule in a Gantt view. You will also learn how to view the plan as a timeline, how to create project reports, and how to export with Microsoft Word, Microsoft Project, Microsoft Outlook, and the PowerPoint exports. To begin, as you can see, we've brainstormed and mapped an action plan with four main stages or phases of that particular plan. Each stage or phase has several sub items. They include topics, branch attachments, pictures, and so on. In this example, I've applied a numbering scheme to the mind map to show the clockwise hierarchy of the branches. As we migrate towards the Gantt chart view, this clockwise order will also become the linear order of the Gantt chart outline. I can easily hide the numbering scheme by choosing no numbering scheme. To continue by identifying items within a plan or action plan, it may be beneficial to associate additional visuals such as icons. Under the insert menu, I can choose to locate the icons and left click an individual branch and associate a relevant icon. Priority levels, completion levels, smileys, flags, pins, and so on. You can even choose to include your own custom icon set. For this example, we're going to identify key requirements in each individual phase. I can do them individually, or by holding down control, I can left click and apply the icons all at once. As we continue building our action plan, it is now time to switch to the work breakdown structure view. As we choose the view tab, we can select map view and learn how to create the WBS. By left clicking top down, the mind map is automatically converted into that top down or work breakdown structure view with each individual stage or phase included as a main level branch and the corresponding subtopics. To better associate and visualize an individual stage or phase, I can choose to left click that desired phase. I can go back to the Home or View tab, and I can choose to access Apply Branch Focus. This will minimize the detail shown on the map and isolate that selected group. To continue with scheduling an individual branch or sub-branch, I left click that branch, choose the Task Timeline panel from the right side of my screen, now that we've launched the task timeline panel, we can left click our desired branch and start adding the task information. We can select the duration for a specific topic. And I can choose my desired metric to measure that duration. I have an easy selection system for accessing the calendar for start dates and end dates of tasks. We can choose the priority for that individual topic or task as well as update completion levels and add resources. If you're aware of additional project information, you can select the project information link and add either a project start date or a project end date. In this example, let's choose today's date as the project start date. Project resources would be the people or materials that are working on the project and by selecting the project resources link, I can choose to add resources. I can include that resources email address. I can also choose to associate a rate for that particular resource. MindView also supports material resources such as computers or high-end equipment. To add a material resource, I simply choose the type under the drop down. I choose material, and I can then choose to add a daily or unit based rate. If I am my Microsoft Outlook user, I can choose to access my Outlook address book. If you have an Active Directory set up, you can activate the directory link to communicate resource information with your existing Active Directory. If you are a Matchware or MindView shared workspace account holder, 
you can configure the link to access your shared workspace contacts, or you could import a list from a prior MindView document. The project calendar link allows the user to define what a working day is for their particular company. By selecting the project calendars link, I can choose to update the hours per day, hours per week, or days per month. I can also associate an existing project calendar to list any holidays that may be with a particular working schedule. If I'd like to change hours for an existing month for that week, I can left click the column heading. And if I left click and drag, I can change dates for multiple weeks and multiple months. Each individual resource can also supply their own unique resource calendar. And any calendars that I make in MindView, I can choose to save as the default MindView calendar or export and import them with other MindView documents. Now that we've added the project information, project resources, and project calendar, we can begin scheduling the relevant tasks. I left click the desired task, choose the duration and metric for that task, associate the start date, the end date is automatically populated based on the duration. I can give that task a priority, low to high, and I can associate a resource to that particular task. MindView allows you to display this task information per branch by simply right-clicking on the task, choosing to show branch data, and display any of the relevant data points. For instance, start and end time, duration, completion, and even resource. To expedite this tutorial, I've added additional task information to the following branches. I can choose to highlight such branches, and under the Format tab, as well as the right-click menu, I could choose to display that branch data. As you can see, each individual task has its corresponding data listed below. If I take a look at the Planning Parent branch, I can choose to summarize information by displaying task information such as the completion level, and possibly the full start and end date of the particular sub-items. This is an extremely effective method for seeing both the high-level and low-level items within a project or action plan. By then clearing the branch focus, we can bring the entire map out to its full view with the corresponding branch information displayed. As you can see, MindView is an extremely effective work breakdown structure tool. With each individual item, being listed in the WBS, the tasks rolling up their task information to their parent branch or deliverable, as well as the deliverables rolling up their task information into the root. As you can see, the global overview of the 7th to the 29th, and currently we're at 50% completion of the action plan based on the task updates and information for each individual task item. For those users more comfortable in scheduling in the Gantt chart view, you could navigate directly under Views to the Gantt chart and do your scheduling from the Gantt chart view. Once in the Gantt chart view, under the Gantt Tools tab, you can choose to associate several various features, such as indenting and outdenting to change the outline format, completion levels, linking tasks, active and inactive tasks, zooming in and zooming out, displaying the critical path, even determining what columns to be displayed in the outline. I also have access to the same project requirements such as resources, information, calendars, and more. I can utilize the Gantt chart outline to change the duration of a specific task, the start date or end date of that task. I can apply dependencies or predecessors from this particular view, change completions, priorities, and even associate a resource. By selecting my desired task in the outline, I can navigate to the Gantt Tools tab and choose Task Information. 
Here I have access to change the name and the corresponding topics. I can choose to apply a constraint. If the task is effort driven, I can associate it as an effort driven task and determine the proper task type. I can even determine to set the task as a milestone or hide it from the chart. In continuing with the tabs, I can choose the predecessors tab and associate a dependency or predecessor to the selected setup team topic. I can choose the specific predecessor type and associate any lag time. The individual resources applied to that particular task can be listed within the resources tab and I can associate multiple resources as needed. I also have the flexibility to left click and drag to quickly create dependencies between branches. To expedite this tutorial, I've opened a template that has a completed project plan. As you can see, there are dependencies, color changes, completion bars, even information icons for completed tasks. I have access to all images, all comments, all text notes and attachments, and I can even drag and drop information directly on the bars in the chart. Under the design tab, I can choose to display the task name and resource name directly on the bar. And I can choose to customize the look and feel of the Gantt chart itself. For the Gantt chart, it may be difficult to communicate a plan to an existing team or coworker. Under the view tab, I can view the Gantt chart as a timeline. As you can see, the timeline view simplifies the complexities of a Gantt chart. MindView 6 also allows you to easily create project-ready information by utilizing the integration with the Microsoft Office Suite. I can export my MindView document out in several ways, such as a Word document to create a WBS dictionary or project scope. I can export to a Microsoft PowerPoint presentation to visualize the individual steps and stages of the plan. I can export the items out to Microsoft Excel, send each individual task to the corresponding resource using the Microsoft Outlook task export, and I can even convert the document to a Microsoft project file. Let's go through some of the examples. We'll start with Microsoft Word. Choose the advanced word export, choose my desired type or template, determine the elements I want included in the project plan or action plan, and simply hit export. As you can see, MindView has converted the complexities of a project plan into a simplified document in Word, with my visual WBS as the image, table of contents with each individual deliverable and task, and the corresponding sections with the task information listed in the individual tasks and summarized to the parent level. Any descriptions or attachments are of course exported directly to the project plan. To present the project plan through Microsoft PowerPoint, I would choose File, Export, Microsoft PowerPoint, and choose the Advanced PowerPoint Export. Begin by selecting my desired template and determining the elements that I'd like to include in the export. MindView converts each individual branch into its own corresponding slide and applies the relevant information. By exporting to Microsoft Excel, you can have each individual branch listed as a row with the corresponding task information listed as the column heading and the task data listed in that specific cell. I choose my desired template, determine what elements I'd like included within that export to Microsoft Excel, and choose export. The export to Microsoft Excel supplies all the task and project information with the corresponding topic descriptions that were included task information, summarization between deliverables and tasks, and if you choose to include the legend, you can even include all corresponding resource costs that are used within the project plan. MindView also has powerful integration with Microsoft Outlook, where if I assign individual tasks to specific resources and include that specific resource's email address when I list them as that resource, I can then choose File, Export, Microsoft Outlook, and distribute the tasks to those individual resources Outlook task lists. That information can be accepted and updated by the resource within Microsoft Outlook, and the MindView document owner can then synchronize between MindView and the Outlook task lists.
This gives you a seamless integration to update completion levels and task information. For our Microsoft Project enthusiasts, MindView can communicate directly with Microsoft Project by using Export MS Project. As you can see, the MindView document has been converted into a standard Microsoft Project file. With the corresponding task information, any notes or descriptions that were brought over from MindView, resource allocation is included, as well as predecessors. It's important to mention that MindView not only exports to the Microsoft Office package, but I can also import from those same standard tools. So if any changes are made, or if I'd like to import a native Word or Microsoft Project document, I can import that directly into MindView. The last export we'll review are the MindView project reports. When I choose Export, Project Reports, MindView will convert the MindView document into a self-contained HTML website, which can be used as a visual dashboard report for teams and managers. The project reports function like a standard website, with navigation across the left bar. Users can navigate sections such as the executive report, the task list for the project, the corresponding resource allocation, or who is doing what on the individual projects, and even see a workload or accountability report to make sure that you're assigning tasks to resources accurately. It's important to mention that the project reports cannot be edited. You'd simply alter the MindView document and rerun the report.